Hey everyone, support for Figma variants is here. You can now localify your master component sets in Figma and localify will respect all the properties that you've already defined. This is just one of the many ways that Localify adapts to your existing workflow and accelerates your front end development. Alrighty, let's take a look at this design that I have over here. I've designed two master components, a button component here and a text input component over here. So let's zoom into the text input component and let's take a look at all the properties that I have already defined in Figma. So I have a variant property that controls the state over here between the hover, default, and disabled state. I also have a text property over here, and this controls the placeholder text. I have another text property, and this controls the hint text, and that's the, this is a hint text here. And finally, I have a Boolean property that controls whether the hint is showing or hiding. So let's move up to the button. So for the button component, I only have one variant property over here, and that is just to control it between the default and hover state. So there are three things to note when localifying Figma variants. Every permutation of the master components variants needs to be designed for Localify to pick it up accurately. So for example, in my button here, since I have a variant property for state, and there are two different states, I need to ensure that there are two different designs in the master component. Every variant must also have the same layer structure. So let's take a look at the button component over here and let's take a look at the layer structure for the default state and the hover state. You see that the layer structure is exactly the same. And the third and final thing to note is that it's also recommended that your master component frame also has auto layout applied for the best results. So if I click on this, you'll see that auto layout has indeed been applied over here. Okay, great. So. With both these components, I can make up this design over here. It's a simple update profile form where the user can um, update their profile with their email address and their name. So let's go ahead and localify this to see what happens. Alrighty, I'm ready to select the frames that I want to convert into code. So I have to select my design frame over here, obviously. But since I'm converting my Figma variants as well, I have to select the master component frames for both the button and the text input. So let's go ahead and convert that into code. Okay, it looks like the local fire preview is now done. You can see that when I hover on my text inputs, the hover state was automatically applied for me. And if I go ahead and click on it, I can even start typing my name. The hover state for the button seems to be automatically applied for me as well. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to edit mode over here. And let's go ahead and select the first text input. Great, and if I go ahead and edit the properties over here, you can see that Locofy has automatically picked up all the properties that I have defined in Figma. It looks like I may have made a mistake in my design. The email input field over here, I wanted to disable so that users will not be able to change their email address. So let's go ahead and change that over here. Let's click on the pencil icon and change the value to disabled and click on save. Great, this, is, look, this looks exactly like the disabled state that I have designed. So Locofy not only picks up all the text variant and Boolean properties that you've defined, it also fully respects all the designs that you have already defined in Figma. Okay, now let's see what happens when we try this with Locofy Classic instead. So I'm going to select all the frames once again and click on Get Started, Sync to Builder. Yes, let's start the sync. Okay, now that I've synced all my frames into Locofy Builder, I can go ahead and click on Make Components over here. And Locofy is going to show me all the components and its variants that I have synced. And I need to accept all these so that Locofy merges all of them into one single component. So let's go ahead and accept three instances. And let's do the same for the text input over here and accept all the instances as well. 
Great. Okay, so let's go back to the preview and let's take a look at the form now. Okay, let's take a look at the prototype now. It looks like, yes, the hover states have been applied for both my text inputs and the button over here. So that's how you work with Figma variants in Localify. This feature is already live, so give it a go and let us know what you think. See you guys in the next one.